I always wanted to be in racing. Since the time I was about five years old, I loved uh, basically every kind of racing there was, and I worked on cars. My dad was a mechanic. And uh, as I became a teenager, I decided, well, I'm going to go into engineering. That was the avenue I, I felt would be my best to get into it. So I went to school for mechanical engineering and started working in racing right away. I worked for a company called Multimatic, which is um, one of the best automotive engineering companies in the world. I worked there as a, as a student in the racing program um, for four years and also as a designer in their design department, so I learned a lot that way. And after I graduated, I uh, became a test engineer there and was in the thick of everything, working on projects for Ford, um, Honda, you know, the big automotive companies, but then also a lot of racing teams and NASCAR, IndyCar places like that. So that's really where I got involved in racing and then I then I moved to Indianapolis and started working on an Indy Lights team there as a race engineer. And um, when you're at the racetrack, you know, it's all about performance. You're trying to get every last little bit of performance out of the vehicles. What started me on the path to fuel economy was really a passion and an empathy that I developed for the trucking industry. We rely so heavily on this industry and they consume so much fuel, they, it's such a major expense and I realized that some of the technologies and engineering from racing that I use could be used for this. So I started developing a test method and, and I really recognized there was a gap with, with the information that trucking fleets were using. I'm driving down the interstate um, just having finished the, our Indy Lights race and, um, and I'm looking at all these trucks and I'm seeing how much room there is for improvement you know, after looking at a race car that's so optimized, you know, they're so sleek and small, and you have these huge trucks that, you know, they're, they're as big as a house, and they're trying to go through the same air, they're trying to, you know, roll tires on the same kind of ground. Um, I said, man, there's got to be a lot of room for improvement with the kind of work that we do in racing to be able to apply it to trucking. I had developed this test method, and I knew that if I wanted to make something happen in the trucking industry, I, I wanted to work with the most innovative fleet there was and that was MVT. And I had already met Jimmy Ray at a trade show in 2011, who's a co-owner at MVT. And so when I had this test method, I approached them and came down here to New Mexico and tested with them. And they were blown away by the answers we got from this fuel economy testing. And they didn't understand it at the time, and they were pretty skeptical because so many people had approached them about fuel economy and, you know, promised the stars. But once they saw the numbers, saw the answers, and saw the science and the data that went with it, they were, I'll say, blown away. And uh, it was right there in that first meeting that their CFO, he said, look, let's just start testing as much as we can because he knew how much money they could save if they had answers. And we tested over 100 things in that first year and uh, found a lot of money in fuel savings. And uh, a few years later, we ended up forming Mesilla Valley Transportation Solutions, MVT Solutions. And now we offer the same services to other trucking fleets and to product suppliers as well. Yeah, so Daryl is from Canada and he was working on an IndyCar team and he's an engineer for an IndyCar team back then. And he had his own little scientific way of measuring the exact amount of fuel, which all real testing measures by weight. Daryl tests numerous ways. So he'd come down and we'd go rent a test track and we'd go try things. And so we just kept trying things and trying things and finding little things that worked. So by working with Daryl, we just learned a lot of stuff. So we saw so many people in disbelief of what works and what doesn't work that we created a company called MVT Solutions where, I mean, it's expensive, but it's expensive to do our testing, but it's not that expensive when you figure the return on investment might be a month if you let Daryl test what you're doing and see what works for you and your fleet. And there's quite a few fleets that have really increased their profit tremendously and don't even think of the cost that Daryl charged them to do the testing. It wasn't a cost, it was a fix. Everybody should be fuel conscious because we have a planet that we live on that we need to have good air to breathe and we need to not waste all of our natural resources. And then the world is getting better. I mean, every car you get gets better fuel mods than the last one you had. Now there's electric cars. We're working continuously to make trucks use less. We're protecting our air for our grandkids ahead of us, and we're not using those valuable resources. And then the real thing, when you first want to be green, the main reason you're green is green is the color of money. One of your biggest expenses behind drivers is always going to be fuel, So, and you have the ability to lower that cost. Not by going to customer and charging more, not by paying your drivers less, not by buying a cheaper truck, but just flat takeaway operating costs. Why wouldn't you want to use less fuel?